Yo, 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 what is good all my kings and queens and welcome to today's video. Today we are making a video on Nidalee. It is five tips and tricks everyone must know if they are playing this champion. Nidalee is an awesome, awesome assassin with high mobility that is just incredibly fun to play, guys. So without further ado, let's get right on into this video so you can get good at Nidalee. Now to get right on into the video, starting with tip numero uno, which is to hide your spears through terrain when you are throwing them out. Now, in the event that you're right in front of your opponent like so, and you throw your spear, your opponent will not only see the animation of you starting to channel your spear throw, but they'll also see your spear from the very beginning of where it's being thrown from. Now, on the flip side, if you're hiding behind terrain like this, and your opponent does not have vision of you whatsoever, not only will they not see you start casting the spear animation, but they are not going to see the spear until it's right in front of their face, because guess what, guys? We can't see through terrain at all. We can only see the terrain that's right in front of us right here, so your opponent's not going to be seeing the spear until it's just right around here where my mouse is, and that is ridiculously hard to react to, guys. So... Make sure that you guys are using terrain to hide your spears. It works especially well on walls such as this one right here, guys. As you can see, if somebody's standing right here and say you're on this side of the wall as Nidalee and you just throw the spear all the way right to there, that is going to nail that person 100% of the time if they do not see this coming. And that's why Nidalee is so good at invading, guys. It's because you guys could just have some vision on somebody by placing a ward or getting your support to place a ward. And you could just huck spears through walls and they won't see it coming and it's going to do a crap ton of damage. Now, the next tip we're going to talk about here today, guys, is that all of your human form abilities as Nidalee, which means your javelin toss, your bushwhack, and your primal surge, all three of these abilities, guys, they serve as auto attack cancels. Now, for everyone who's not entirely familiar with auto attack cancels are, well, generally when you're auto attack, it has like a really, it just has a set time, which is completely dependent on your attack speed, right? However, you can circumvent this and actually auto attack faster by throwing abilities and using abilities in between your ability, your auto attack. So you do this, you get an auto attack cancel, right? And then you also get the benefit of having an ability go out through that. Now, one thing that many people don't really know about Nidalee is that each and every one of your abilities serve as an auto attack cancel in human form. So you do this, it serves as one, you do that, it serves as one, and you E, it also serves as one, guys. So we need to keep this in mind when playing Nidalee because if you want to maximize your damage, it's very important that you're using all of your abilities and using them as auto attacks. And also just getting your abilities in there and weaving them in so that you're actually making use of your entire kit uh, whenever possible. So do be doing this, guys. Use your abilities to cancel your auto attack animation and get those auto attacks out faster and get those abilities in there as well. Now for this next tip, we kind of have a two-in-one special here. The first thing I want to talk about, guys, is every single point that you put into your aspect of the Cougar, which is, of course, where you transformed either human or Cougar form makes it so all of your cougar form damage abilities actually are increased right i'm just going to show you real quick here just so you can see right now you can see my cougar form q does 237 i put a level into it and then it does 262 damage however if i'm leveling up my w regularly like so uh it's not going to have any form of effect on my cougar form abilities whatsoever right you see it still does 283 right now does 369 still does 369 Still does 369. So do keep this in mind, guys. Uh, leveling up your abilities uh, regularly only increases your human form damage, but every single point you put into Aspect of the Cougar increases your Cougar form damage. I see some very new Nidalee players just not leveling up this ability whatsoever, which is a very bad thing to do. So don't do that. And the next part of this tip here is that you can also get movement speed whenever you're, you're walking through brush. And this is actually vital to do on Nidalee, guys. It's both, both really important for chasing down opponents and um, just escaping from opponents as well. As you can see here, movement speed is 392 regularly. I walk through a bush. It goes all the way up to 430, guys. So this is a very, very big difference, and it makes a huge impact in a lot of scenarios. So you really need to be making sure that you are making use of this, and you are just getting that bonus movement speed when you're running away or chasing down opponents. Now, the next tip I'm going to talk about, guys, is trap placement. And this is a part that I think even some of the best Nidalee players don't actually do uh, quite well enough. And that is just really important because 
when it, whenever somebody walks over a trap of your guys, they actually get marked, right? So having an opponent marked makes it a lot easier for you to do your full combo without even needing to land a javelin necessarily or a spear. So it's really important whenever you're taking objectives like dragon for, per se, you want to be placing traps in areas where your opponents need to walk through. Now obviously, like, you know, right here is really good, right here is really good, and this bush is really nice as well because generally opponents will be walking across over there. And another really good area is, of course, right here in this tri-bush right there. You just want to be placing traps in areas that you know your opponents need to walk through so that you can both reveal them, because your traps will reveal your opponents, but also, of course, for the aspect of the cougar or your prowl passive, right? And this will allow you to go to your cougar form and get in there and just go for some damage in the event that they're trying to close the gap onto you and get into the objective that you're taking. And of course, in Baron Pit, you can also put traps here. You can put traps right here, or you can put traps in this bush as well right here. All of these spots are really good, guys, so make sure that you're setting up for objectives and you're placing traps in areas that your opponents need to walk through in order just to get free passive stacks on them. All right, and now to move on to the final tip of today's video, everybody, and that is to practice Nidalee a metric F-ton. It is crucial to all of you that you practice this champion. Nidalee is one of the hardest champions in the game. Some say Nidalee is the hardest champion in all of League of Legends, so my recommendation is to play her a lot in normals and just get familiar with the champion because she is not easy. She has so many little micro intensive things you need to constantly be focusing on if you want to be very good at this champion. So it's just recommended that you take her into normals, you play her a lot. I would say it'd probably, it's probably going to take most people 50 to 100 games to even have a really good understanding of this champion and how to play her. And some people it'll take even more than that guys. So don't get discouraged if you're playing very poorly with Nidalee at first. She is one of the hardest champions in the game, but keep playing and keep trying to get better, guys. It will happen eventually. It only took me like 60 games, so <laughs> you guys will get there. But I am going to end today's video. I really appreciate everybody who came in and watched, and uh, I'd like to give a huge shout-out to the Nidalee main subreddit. Uh, you guys are awesome, and some of you guys actually helped me with some of the tips in this video. Uh, but I will be ending today's video. If you did enjoy it, drop a like, drop a subscribe, and please make sure to join my Discord community so you can be part of the discussion for future videos. Uh, but that's it. I'm signing off. Peace out. I'll see you all, guys. See all of you guys in the next video.